Hi guys, it's Kara, and before I jump into the topic that I want to cover today, I want to give you just a couple of kind of public service announcements. The first one being that I am filming in natural lighting coming from that direction. It is a somewhat overcast day, which means that that lighting can change very quickly here in Alaska, and if it does, it is likely going to be skewing the colors that you see in the video, and if that happens, I'm sorry. It is just kind of what it is today. Secondly, I also want to let you guys know that this is probably going to be a little bit of a chatty video, so if that's not something you're interested in, I totally understand, and maybe you can check out one of my other videos. So, that being said, I'm going to kind of jump right into the topic and first say that this video was in part inspired by Courtney, who is a Little Raven Inc. I follow her on Instagram, YouTube, and on Patreon, and I thoroughly enjoy her videos. She is highly um, artistic. The community around, especially her Patreon, is wonderful and supportive. Even if you're someone who just mostly kind of lurks around um, and doesn't comment a lot, it's just a really great place to be. If you haven't checked her out, I would definitely recommend it, and I will try and leave some links down below to her. That being said, she is currently um, journaling in art journaling in a passport size. Um, I think that's just one of her journals, and I have decided that I'm going to start doing that as well. I do want to say that this is not a completely new idea to me. I think if you look a ways back in my videos, you will see that I set up a different uh, passport traveler's notebook to do some artistic things in it, and I ended up, I think, dismantling it a few weeks in. And I think part of the reason that I do those things is because I feel like I am constantly or that I should be constantly in search of the perfect journal or the perfect planner, you know, and so I tended I have tended in the past to jump around from size to size because I think that I should find that one perfect thing. And what I've just finally decided recently, this basically this year, is that for me, it's never going to be one perfect size or one perfect traveler's notebook. I am someone who likes variety, and it is okay if I have several different journals going at one time. Now, I currently have quite a few. I have one written journal that I don't show anyone, um, but I also put tip-ins and things in it. And then I have several different kinds of art journals. I have, for example, sitting on my desk, let me grab it, this gorgeous thing that I have my memory keeping books in. Um, I also have um, a large one sitting right over here that I showed you guys, my sketchbook that I'm using for a variety of things sitting right here. And I'm soon going to have a little passport one because that's what this video is all about, is setting that up. And I just want to say that if you're someone who has struggled to find the one perfect um, book or journal, then maybe you don't need just one. Maybe you need multiple ones. Um, and everybody should just really do what makes you happy and stop comparing yourself or your work or your your book or whatever to anybody else. Do what makes you happy. Um, that has been become something that I have really focused on this year. Um, for those of you who've been around my channel, you know that I've had some kind of bigger life events, uh, basically starting from about Christmas of last year. And so this year has really been a challenge for me. And I'm kind of slowly but surely working my way back from those things. And I am definitely going to be doing a variety of things um, in my kind of artistic life. And I'll share them as you know, as they come up. The first one I'm going to share with you is this passport art journal that I'm going to set up. Now, this one that you see in front of me is a seed leather sojourner from the lovely Rowena. And I'm not positive I say her name correctly. It might be Rowena. And if I'm saying it wrong, I am so sorry. But um, this is absolutely gorgeous. Seed leather is one of my absolute favorites. And I moved in my few little planning inserts into this um, TN because they were in my Roadrunner, which I am now going to use for that art journal. Um, I don't do a ton for planning because I am um, an empty nester, but if you guys are interested, leave me a comment down below and I'll be happy to show that to you in another video. 
Um, because I wanted to use this um, for my art journal, I put those inserts in here. And then I did another thing that I have never ever done, which was I rolled this planner. So I, you know, I rolled up the leather like this, and you can kind of see now all of the different color variation in this leather. It's absolutely gorgeous. I actually have my written planner in a Roadrunner, and you can see when they're side by side the difference in the one that I rolled. It's so pretty. I'm so happy I did it. It was um, something I'd wanted to do for a while, but I was just too chicken. So I also, I had a, a pocket, a little plastic pocket in here. This is one of those um, from Target. Um, the one I had in here was getting a little grubby, so I peeled it off and put a new one down. Um, I will say if you use these, it does leave a distinct kind of mark on the leather inside, but it doesn't bother me because we're just putting one back in here. The reason I happen to like these on the uh, passport size is because I always like to have a little writing board and this pocket fits it perfectly. So it stays right back there. And I thought I would go ahead and just show you guys how I'm gonna set it up. Now in Courtney's videos, she's working in one, predominantly one, insert. I'm actually going to put two in mine. The first one I already had. This is a craft paper um, traveler's notebook insert and I had this one in that other passport that I was referencing earlier and you can see I just kind of decorated it up. I put this little a little piece of ephemera that has a little words of a song. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine in here. Covered it with, I think this was a studio calico piece of acetate. There's a, um, a journaling card on the back. And because I have a variety of things that I wanna try on craft paper, I'm gonna include this one in here. I'm actually gonna put it in the front. Okay, and um, in case you're curious, this particular passport traveler's notebook has four elastics, but I'm only gonna be using two. I also have the zipper pocket insert in a passport size that I'm gonna use. So I'll put that in here and I'll show you in just a minute what I'm gonna keep in there. And then uh, I have a craft cover, again from that other TN that I've already decorated that I'm going to uh, put in here as well. This is a picture of my sweet little Gracie girl who's no longer with us. Um, she was one of my kids' childhood pets and she was just the best little dog and I love having her picture in there. I'm gonna put that in here. I figured I would keep that for pieces of ephemera and things that I might want to collage into my little art journal. And then this is a brand new Traveler's Notebook passport size insert in the sketch paper, which is the one that Courtney is using. I'm gonna put that in here. I'm not gonna decorate the covers yet. I think I will decorate it as I play in the art journal, okay? And then in that zipper pocket here. I'm going to put a small piece of the blotting paper that I have because if I use ink and it's particularly wet and I want to move the page, I like to have that blotting paper. I have a few really cute stickers that I cannot for the life of me remember where I got right now. But I'm going to put that in there in case I need them for, you know, collage or whatever. I have some uh, Jane Davenport stickers or washi, washi tape stickers, whatever you want to call them, that I'm going to tuck in on this side. And then in here I have all of these little pieces of goodness. So these are, so there's some fragments in here from, um, I think James Luke Burke is the name. I have some dilutions things in here all of which I figured if I wanted to, I could color up and add as collage material, or if I just wanted to color, I could do that as well. So I have tons and tons of this. I'm gonna actually start loading all of this stuff in here. I'm going to just slip that into the zipper pocket. And I do, when I say I have tons and tons, I did get a whole bunch out of my stash little birds, there's puppies, there's cats, um, there's various uh, girl figures in here, all of these flowers, super cute. I think they'll be a lot of fun just to color on their own or to add, or at last, add to um, journaling pages. And 
I know that these all fit because I actually tried it out before. It's just now getting it to all work while you guys are watching me on camera. So there those are. This last one in here. Oh, I don't want to bend her. And I figure if I want to, um, I can also cut them up um, somewhat like Courtney does. And then I also have this cute little paper clip. It's just a little girl figure back from when I was getting the Planner Society kits, I believe. I'm going to stick this on the pocket just as decoration right there. And there you go. Now I've changed out the elastic bands for the cover. I actually have two small ones just because that is the size of the elastic that I happen to have. And there's my little passport sized journal. So I'll be using this along with lots of other things because that's what makes me happy. And um, I hope you liked looking at this. If you are looking for another way to art journal, here is an option for you. Again, this is inspired at this time by Courtney. So a huge thank you to her because not only am I thinking I'm really going to enjoy this, but I've been enjoying all of her videos as well. If you guys would be interested in seeing me do some art journaling on camera, let me know because I could probably do that. I don't know that I can guarantee you it's going to be pretty, but I can try. So I think that is it. Hopefully this has a, hasn't been too chatty or too rambly for you, but I just wanted to kind of put it out there, um, both to show you what I'm going to be doing and to give you guys another option. Um, just remember that, um, you know, life is just too short, so find what makes you happy and do as much of it as you can. That's what I hope you guys can all do. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I hope that you are having a great day wherever you're at. Bye, everybody.